What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about, what's that? Oh, it's my new BG merch hat. Thank you very much, Sly Putty, but you can go now. As I mentioned before, in today's video, we're gonna talk about a unique slider called the Slypod E. There are a lot of motorized sliders on the market, but I've never seen a unique slider like this before. I believe you should take a look at the Slypod E because there are definitely some advantages over the standard motorized sliders. The Slypod E was sent to me by Modza. However, I wasn't asked or paid to say anything specific. So everything you will hear is my honest opinion. By the end of this video, you will not only know how to use the Slypod E, but also know if the Slypod E is the right tool for you to use in your videos. Like in all my videos, I will be dividing this video into sections. Uh, there is a timestamp in the video description below if you wanna skip or go back to a particular part of the video. So here's a quick overview of the Slypod E. Starting from the top, you have a quick release adapter, which can easily be taken off by turning the quick release screw on the side. Close by, you have an Arc Swiss quick release with a one quarter and three eight extension hole. This allows you to mount the Slypod E on a tripod. At the very bottom, you have a light indicator. You have a power button and an operating button indicated as plus and minus. You have a type C charging port and the cable is included as well. What you also get is a nice tripod, which can be useful for support and extension. So as for the build and design quality, it's made out of aluminum and holding the Slypod E in my hands, you can really feel that it's built well. I really like the rubber grip and the simple design. It comes with a back and unlike other sliders, the Slypod E is really compact, lightweight, around 920 grams and doesn't take up much space. It has a built-in lithium battery, which also allows you to charge it on the go. The charging time takes around 90 minutes and the battery life of the Slypod E lasts for two hours. As for the payload, when setting up the Slypod E vertically, it can carry up to nine kilos and horizontally four kilos, which is actually quite a lot. The tube extends exactly 28 centimeters. You know what also extends? My extension cable. Sorry for my jokes. You can connect your smartphone with the Slypod E over Bluetooth by downloading the Moza Master app. The app allows you to have more control over the Slypod E, but we will look into that later. Let's move on to setup. To set up the Slypod E, I prefer using a tripod. It's much more convenient and I can set up the camera the way I like it to get creative shots. I highly recommend you get a strong ball head that has a plate so that you can adjust the angle of the camera to your liking, but also take off your camera to reposition it to get a different moving shot. By the way, all the additional gear mentioned will be in the video description below. To mount the quick release adapter, I can slide it in, tighten the knob and turn the quick release screw to secure the adapter. It's safe to say that I can leave my camera on the Slypod E without worrying that it will fall off. If you want to use the tripod legs that is included, you can use it to set it up vertically or get really low shots. Next is the functionality. One of the best things about the Slypod E is that it's really simple to use. Once you have everything set up, you can hold and press the power button until a solid green light appears. Press the plus or minus button to extend or retract the slider. By pressing the button once, it will accelerate very slowly, which is barely visible. This is great for shooting longer time lapses. You can change the speed by pressing the operating buttons more than once. If you want the full speed, you can just press hold the operating button. Button. If I want to stop the acceleration, I can press the power button twice. If you want to get into loop mode, just press the plus and minus button at the same time for three seconds and it will start moving back and forth continuously. This is great if you're filming yourself without the help of another person. If I'm done using the Slypod E, I can simply press the power button three times to reset and turn off. 
By the way, all the behind the scenes was shot by George. So I wanted to mention him because he's a huge help for this channel. So thank you, bro. Another benefit of having a slider like this is that I don't have the tracks visible in the shot. So you could really use a wide angle lens and have everything in the frame. Also with a standard slider, it's really difficult to get a vertical shot. With the Slypod E, you can simply use the tripod leg to create that shot. The simplicity of this slider is really what stands out. Now let's take a look at the Moza Master app. I don't want to go too deep into it since the modes can get pretty advanced. First of all, I like the idea that you can control the Slypod E with your smartphone. This is especially great for getting smooth looking shots where you don't want to get in contact with the Slypod E that could potentially create shakiness in your footage. Also, if you're filming yourself and want more control, you can decide when and how far the slider should move. So once you've downloaded the Moza Master app, open it up and select Slypod and connect it to your device. As you can see, you have your battery levels displayed on the top. Below, you're given different options. In the remote control section, you will find different modes. Now, most of the time, I'll be using the regular mode. In this mode, you can slide the red point from the starting point to any position and the Slypod E will move accordingly. You can adjust the speed as well and use the upwards or downwards key uh, to set the slider in motion. You can actually also take a still or start recording a video on your camera if you have the additional cable. In the creative mode, you really have a lot of advanced options where you can create different paths and work on different parts of the slider, which gives you a lot of flexibility. One of the downside of this slider is that it's noisy. You probably wouldn't want to use this at full speed on an interview shoot, but what you can do is enable silent mode, which will reduce the accelerating speed of the slider, making it less noisy. In the settings, you also have the option to change the color of the light, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's move on to the usability. So how smooth is the footage using the Slypod E and how can you use it creatively in your videos? So here are some test footages I shot outside using the Slypod E at maximum speed. As you can see, it does a really great job of keeping the shot steady. I find that the Slypod E is really great for shooting B-rolls or filming yourself and especially also for product videos since you can really angle your camera however you like it to get those dynamic shots. Whether you're using a DSLR camera or a smartphone, both work really well. For vertical shots, I don't recommend using a heavy camera since it can unbalance the tripod. If you do, make sure to use counterweights. All right, so here are my pros and cons using the Slypod E. Starting with the cons, the slider is loud at full speed. For that reason, I personally like using it for shooting B-rolls. The length of the slider can be restrictive depending on your shooting needs. For shooting product videos, I find the length of the tube more than enough. And also for these revealing shots uh, works really great. Either way, if you want to be more flexible, I highly recommend you get a good tripod that allows you to position the Slypod E freely to take away some of the limitations. For example, if you want to create a vertical shot, you can extend the legs of the tripod to your desired height to create an interesting move. Now moving on to the pros, for the price of 300 bucks, you really get a unique slider. There are a lot of motorized sliders out there that are way more pricier. With the Slypod E, you don't have the tracks in the frame and like any professional video equipment, they all have their own purpose. The Slypod E is great for run and gun shoot since I'm very impressed on how quickly and easy it is to uh, get it up and running. You get smooth looking footage and having that buttery smooth movement in your shot just makes the video more engaging. 
I especially enjoy the Slypod E for filming myself or shooting B-roll or for product videos. It's just much more efficient. With a normal slider, it took me much longer to set up the shot. So hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the Slypod E is a tool for you to use. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. It's a real pleasure to have you on my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This will allow me to create more awesome videos for this channel. If you're interested in some of the gear I use, make sure to watch these two videos right here to learn more. Until then, have a great day, take care, and I will see you in the next video, guys.